I wanted to show you guys how I did my um, render of some wood on the app Sketchbook. And it's a free app. Oh, let me get out of this. Let's start a new sketch. Mm, just the, save the current one. All right. So what I do, um, I'm not going to go into detail where everything's at. If you would like to have a video on where everything's at, just uh, leave a comment down below. Um, but anyway, let's get to the quick tutorial. So what I do is um, I'm going to go down to the selection tool and I'm just going to do a rectangle and we're just going to do a quick wood study. So about that big. Um, and I like to use this brush. It's a chiseled Copic brush and you will find that in the library under Copic right there. Right there. Um, so I'll go to my colors um, and I want to go to the browns and I'll start off with um, a light color. And what I do is I like to layer and I go from light to dark. Um, I believe that's the same kind of concept even what you're doing with um, actual markers. So same concept and I'm going to go with E42. And I'm going to adjust the size and opacity. And I just go in nice good strokes. I'm going to color it all the way. And that's my first layer. Then I'll go a little bit darker to E43. And again, do some strokes. Get a nice good range of colors in there. And then I'll go into E44. Sorry about the squeaky. Oh, don't like that. A squeaky voice. And then I'll just keep on giving some range, E44, and let's go darker. And I tend to stick with uh, neutral tones of the of the browns. So um, like this one is like, let's see, like this is a very red undertone. This has a gray undertone, and um, I kind of like that for wood, is the gray, almost neutral tones. So let's go like that. I think I lost it. Sorry. Okay, there we go. Don't like. There we go. All right. And then we'll put some good shadows. Now I'm going to go into a different brush since I got a good little range of colors there. I'm going to go into the brush, <laughs> the brush nib of the Copic. And I'm going to just do some squiggly lines with the same color that I had. It's a good idea for you to grab some wood planks and just take a look at how the green is on the wood. It'll give you a better idea of how to place this green texture. And I'll just do that with the same color that I had and try to go with a random design. I'll get some knots in there. All right. And that was with E87. Let's go a little bit darker. I'm going to go with E89. Adjust the opacity because I don't want it to do dark. And I'll just trace go slightly over those lines that I just did because wood has rings don't have to be perfect wood's not perfect that's the beauty in it and you don't want to go through all of them just some and, and then we're gonna go with I'm gonna do actually let's do another layer 
and we're gonna get some highlights. Let's go back to the lighter. And we're gonna go to E44 and we'll do some of those rings on top. Actually, let me adjust the opacity so you can actually see it a little bit bigger. There we go. Still can't really see it too much, but it's okay. Got a lot of good variety of lines in there. Let's go back up here. We're going to get another. This one's got a yellow tinge to it. Let's go with E49 and we'll lower the opacity so it's not too dark. But we're going to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Make some nice little knots right there. Got little dark knots everywhere. Not right here. Pesky knots, especially when you're cutting. All right, get some gradient there. All right, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go with E55 and just get a few more highlighted areas. There we go. Well, it's not too, too shabby. Sorry, not that way. And again, this is not the end all be all kind of way to do it. You can do it with all kinds of tones, the browns. And this looks more like a walnut slab, I guess. Uh, but you can do pine, you can do the colors of gray, all the same concept, just different kinds of tones. But yeah, that's basically how I did the wood render. Um, yeah, so there you go.